Hello viewers, Mescal here. What we're looking at today is uh, something that makes ozone. It's um, some sort of sanitising thing. Here is the vessel that the um, electronics were in. So you'd put something in there to sanitise, like a toothbrush or a dummy or a What do you call them in America? A pacifier, um, or the the teats off a bottle, or you know anything you wanted to be sterile. You turn the power on, and you get plasma off here, which turns uh, oxygen into ozone, and you get um, UV light coming off this LED here. I'll just turn it on and show you. There's your light, and there's your plasma. And what interests me is after reading the uh, stuff about Myers and all these ionising gas thing, here we have an ionising unit. Now there's enough high voltage coming off this thing to light quite a large uh, fluoro tube. It's fairly bright too, and um, you know, that's that's a lot of voltage, and that looks a lot like spark. And what had me wondering is how on earth. Can you ionise gas using this sort of thing and not light it? Well, let me show you something. I was quite amazed by this. Here we have the, uh, the gas unit off the small, cheap cookers that you can get. Um, there's my lighter. Turn it on, and I'll show you. But that's gas. Now, without touching the nozzle, we'll take that straight to the plasma source, and you can see it's not lighting the gas. Why is that? That's amazing. So ionising gas, doing it the uh, Stanley Meyer way, is as simple as taking some circuit like this and running your gas through that. 